All right, dare to defy six. I was, I was gonna say seven. Dare to defy six. Um, very simple. It's all about off turn damage. If you have Reno FR, makes it even better. I got lucky and lucked into Ace BT, and he actually does super good here. So let's go ahead and dive in. Dive in. I'm gonna laugh when um me switching out Raijin call. That's really not much. Now, if it crashes again, that would be a problem. Because I don't know what I would do then. But no, sp speaking of potency, sort of like Galoof. Galoof is a very, very good counter tank, but Galoof doesn't, he doesn't cap. Like, he still hits very, very nice, but he doesn't cap. If he capped, he'd be so much better. Like, he would go from being busted to crazy busted. It's like right there. He's hitting for like 4,300 Brave. That's not super good, but his damage is still really nice. Now we gotta play the, the the meta game. Attack them for about 13% before the <laughs> so the gauge can fill. Yeah, give Ace one more LD use and I would I would love him. I would. Like I would be in love with him. I mean, speaking of FRs, whenever Ace gets his, it's probably going to be a very good one because it's probably going to be trap based. Like every time a trap goes off, it's probably going to go up. And we have some really good characters like that already. And with the way Shinri works, traps and off turn are already so good. It'll, it'll be very, very good in the game. I might BT this time. It's gonna be different from how I've done this in my testing. I just wanna see what happens. It might be worse, it might be better. I have no idea. I just wanna see. Plus it'll give us a chance for a free LD use. If I can time it correctly, if. Dance, dance even more. <laughs> can I, can we, can we buff Reno's S two to compensate for never using S one? That'd be pretty cool. Um, go ahead and do this. Stop breaking, my boys. Ironically, I want this trap to tick down faster than normal. It should be fine. Yeah, the faster the better. I always enjoy Reno's weapon. Like, I don't know why, just that type of, that, that type of shock weapon, I always enjoy. Probably BT next turn. Probably. It's very far away, which is a little bit scary, but probably. 
I just want to see how juicy we can make this first death R phase. Let's see, I think it's two turns. Yes, it is. That's fine. If you notice they're breaking in different orders, that's by design. We don't want them delayed. We want them to take as many turns as possible. Okay, I I didn't want him to get broken there, but Could have been better. I can feel it. I can <laughs> feel it. Standing there watching me with that grin on your face. Who the hell are you? He's back. He's back. He's come back. Mammoth, thank you so much for the raid again. Mammoth, what's up? What's up? Mammoth, how's it going? How was the stream? Tell me all about it. This might be a mistake, but we're doing this. It might be a mistake, but we're doing it. But yeah, man, thank you so much for the raid. I do appreciate it. But yep, raiders, welcome. But yeah, we're, uh, we are back on the grind. Hopefully we're going to finish this tonight and be fully done with it. Like, I'm sort of ready to be done with it. <laughs> Let's see, zap you. So we didn't have a trap on them going into this, so we lose that damage, but we get a free LD on them. <laughs> but yeah, Mammoth, how was, how was the stream? Tell me all about it. You done Dare to Defy? Nice, nice. I'm glad to hear it. I'm hoping tonight I can finally finish it. All seven, nice. Which, uh, which one did you find the hardest? I still think four is the hardest. I might have got stuck on five and Odin. I still think four is the hardest. Can we hit 100% here? Five. I think five. I think five might have the highest RNG. I still think four is harder. It's so so funny. I, I one shot four and five took like five attempts. Go ahead and put that on pause. Alright, I need them to take turns now. Take all the turns you can you uh, you can take. So it's a little bit unlucky. Ace speeds up randomly on his abilities. And we don't want that. We do not want that ever. And we don't want to see the speed ups. Um, yep, it fell off because I wasn't paying attention, but it's fine. It's okay. It's just more damage. Calculated damage. This will probably push them below 80. Yes, build it. Build the gauge. Build the gauge for me. That break on B isn't that good. It's fine, but it's not super good. It'll go below 70 here. Yes, build the gauge. Build the gauge. The only painful thing with this team is reapplying Ace's trap. 
is going to eat a turn, but it is worth it. I think that was the last stud. Yeah, it was. Speed up. No speed up. Let's see, you can do pyramid. It's fine. We don't really need pyramid, so using it for damage is it is fine. We're eating into our turns a little bit, which is not super good. Maybe not use Ace's Trap there, maybe. Maybe. Because yeah, it's going to end on Ace's turn. Unless we use something on him to speed him up. I don't think this speeds up. It's good damage though. I probably should have taken the hit. And just, and just do a LD use on Ace. That's probably what I should have done. We would get the the damage out of it and apply the stud. I was gonna say, if you, if you want to break my group, that'd be cool. I wouldn't be against it. But yeah, I would say if you want a more optimal team, you could probably take anyone other than Ace, and you would do better here, probably. Let's see, we are doing this for maximum damage. Ace is good here, it's just depending on how you apply his traps, it might be good or bad. Jeez, that damage is so juicy. 2.4 million, million on a counter. It is nice. It is very, very nice. Even more than that. Alright, we are doing this. Because it's the final turn. Just a casual 3 million on both of them. Alright, not bad. Wait, we need them to take their turns now. They get through their, their, um, their FR. Someone said Santa's course irritating and gets everywhere. In Genshin. <laughs> So, uh, so something interesting, Maps. I, um, me and Raimi know a, uh, a person in, uh, in Phasma. And so I, I try to learn from Raimi his terminology, like fish and chips. I asked him why they call them chips and not fries. And then I asked him what they call fries or chips or whatever. So it's a little bit interesting and she lives in the EU. I'm not sure where. And I asked her, does she have anything like that? And she said, what was it? It's like, cake is bread, but not all bread is cake. And it was so interesting seeing her, um, her insight on it and say why it was like that. Because it's always interesting, like, 
you might get used to saying something or calling something whatever it is but when you stop and you think about it it's like that really doesn't make sense like it might make sense to you because you've always called it that but when you break it down it's like yeah why is it called like that like the the one she used that i found was interesting cornbread cornbread isn't technically bread but we call it cornbread so i found that super interesting and yeah we're, we just keep breaking though making this take forever So yeah, that's a little bit interesting. I think the one that really sort of confuses me... Do you have everything? Yeah. The one that confuses me is that it's when I ask Raimi what he calls chips. Because where I live, if I say, hey, go give me some chips. If I don't specify the type in the brand, they would get something at random. Raimi, the example he used was he would say what type to get, and that was it. And I sort of asked him, like, if he specified what type of chips, how would they would do that? Because like, I think I think he said like, oh yeah, go to the go to store and give me some hot chips. Or this brand. Yeah, it's just it's just really interesting. I don't know why. I'm I'm really fascinated by that. Like um like we call them flashlights. And in Genshin Genshin in Phasmo, she would call them torches. And that was really weird to me. And the funny thing is, is when I went to Google it, if you Google a flash or a torch, it'll show you torches, but then it'll shift and show you flashlights. And I thought that was pretty cool. We can go ahead and buy it. Uh, BT effect. This why I sort of find this funny. This fight is, it's not hard. Jeez, even the turn count is very generous. It's not hard. It's just do the motions. Hit the buttons, lower the health. But uh, maps, do you have anything like that? Like, do you have any weird terminology that you would use in that situation? I always forget. Gluff only has one AA, but it's 13 turns. Not that you can think of. Well, see, th that's just it. I ask you that, but the thing is, everything that you know and you say is going to be normal to you. Like, nothing's going to be weird to you, because that's that's the norm. Like, I was talking about when she said, um, bread is cake, but not all cake is bread. I was saying that usually, like, bread can be sweet, but most of it is savory. And usually when it comes to cake, Almost, almost every single cake is sweet, and I don't know of any savory cakes. Oh, let's get this going. We don't have the BT effect for this, so the damage won't be as high. It should still be fine. Oh, 
All right, the one change we're going to make, they don't have... He has Blind Stud. It's about to fall off. There's only two turns on it. We're going to do the LD here, and we didn't do um, Leo. We're going to do LD here. We'll get nice damage, but it's going to reapply it. And the one change we're going to do is once Blind Stud falls off, we're not going to reapply it. I don't think that one turn is worth it. I don't think it is. Like the damage on it is nice, but I think eating into the um, the force time isn't worth it. So lucky, a being broken would have been better. Yes, give us those juicy gains. All right, I think we say pyramid for now. I believe we are just doing Mega. Because I believe Spiral. Yeah, Spiral speeds up. We don't want that. Yeah, they'll lose Blind Stud soon, but it's fine. Mmm, those 50%. That's why I take this team. And when Core C90 comes out, oh my word. You're going to see some awesome stuff. It's going to be so good. He's about to get mad at us. He's going to bomb us. So the damage isn't that high. We do have to be careful of the HP requirement. Them taking turns is going to... It's going to stall our healing a little bit. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Um, Yeah, I think it's fine to use. And yeah, we didn't even use uh, Kate Seth either. I think we can pyramid here. It's funny, I, I don't use pyramid for the um, denying their HP attacks. We, yeah, we don't need that, like Galoof is here. We do it purely for the damage. If we can have it as we kill them, that'd be nice, but... We're going to try to kill them in um, summon. Alright, probably... I'll probably summon when Reno gets his turn. Because we're going to be losing the FR. Mm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, on Reno. I was gonna say, that, that break made it a little bit interesting, but... Oh, it doesn't matter. They're, oh, are we in trouble? We're fine. I think he dies right here. Nice. Okay, the, uh, the second FR did so much damage. I actually didn't expect him to die right there. Well, that went better than I thought. I was a little bit nervous using the the BT as early, but this team is just too good. This team in Reno FR, it's like, it might not be the best, but it does a lot of damage. It does. So, uh, so the funny thing, in my testing, I took Ace. I forgot he had his BT. So 
you can do this with Ace with only his LD. You don't need the BT. The BT is just icing on the cake. Yeah, you can do it without it. Let's see, I didn't use Leo. We didn't use Kate Sith. Yeah, there's so much wiggle room in this fight. And you can make it so, so much cleaner. I'll take it.